Please join us singing our entrance hymn number 501, Take Up Your Cross, 501. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. You come now in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. You will come again in glory with salvation for all your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. Let us pray.
God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. You duped me, O Lord, and I let myself be duped. You were too strong for me, and you triumphed. All the day I am an object of laughter. Everyone mocks me. Whenever I speak, I must cry out, Violence and outrage is my message. The word of the Lord has brought me derision and reproach all the day. I say to myself, I will not mention him. I will speak in his name no more. But then it becomes like fire burning in my heart, imprisoned in my bones. I grow weary holding it in. I cannot endure it. The word of the Lord.
a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. I urge you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, your spiritual worship, holy and pleasing to God. Do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and pleasing and perfect. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer greatly from the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes and be killed, and on the third day be raised. Then Peter took Jesus aside and began to rebuke him. God forbid, Lord, no such thing shall ever happen to you. He turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are an obstacle to me. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man will come with his angels in his Father's glory and then he will repay all according to his conduct. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Labor Day. Labor Day, the unofficial end of summer. It is a turning point. People head back to school. Our calendars suddenly get 
filled up with more and more events and appointments after the long but short months of summer. There is a turning point in today's gospel, an important turning point. Jesus' first prediction of his passion, death, and resurrection. Jesus has a turning point. He looks toward Jerusalem and he makes his final journey to the place where he will undergo his passion. He will still continue to teach and to heal, but his encounters with people will take more of an edge to them. He will now be openly in conflict with the priests, the scribes, the leaders of his people. It is a turning point also for his closest disciples for they will be challenged to go with the Lord Jesus. They will be challenged to also take up their cross and follow Jesus' footsteps. And so that raises a question for us Are we at a turning point? Do we want to be Jesus' disciple? Do we want to grow and mature as human persons and as disciples of Jesus? Do we want to open our hearts and our minds and our souls to Jesus' words, his actions, his life? Or do we want to, in the words of St. Paul from our second reading, conform ourselves to this world and this age? Or do we want to be transformed? transformed more into the image and likeness of Christ Jesus? Do we want to take up our cross and follow him? Or simply put, do we want the cross and the gospel to be the determining factors of our lives? Do we want to love God and our neighbor with our whole life, our whole soul, our hearts, aware that everything is a gift from God, that God has already planted in our hearts the seed of his love, and that God will cultivate and nourish that seed to bear fruit in abundance? Do we see that the Eucharist which we receive, the food of charity, do we see in the Eucharist how it stirs our hearts to give ourselves away, to not be Settle, do not settle for what the world offers, but what God offers us, salvation and eternal life. Do we see every time we come here to celebrate the Sunday Eucharist, do we see it as a turning point in our lives? as food for 
the journey of life and faith. And so I think we have all reached a turning point and need to reflect on whether the Sunday Mass is truly a turning point for me. To reflect on, do I recognize that God, the giver of every good gift, stirs my heart to love as Jesus loves and in the way that Jesus loves, wholeheartedly, sacrificially, open to everyone and every situation. Do I want to take up my cross and follow the Lord Jesus? Do I truly want my faith in Christ Jesus to be the determining factor of my life? Let us pray that this Eucharist which we celebrate today and share together will give us the strength and the encouragement to reflect on being a disciple of the Lord Jesus and whether being a disciple is a turning point in my life. Let us pray that it will help each one of us to answer that question for ourselves, to take up our cross, to respond to Jesus' invitation wholeheartedly, and to follow him now and always. Together, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets, I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With confidence, we turn to God with our needs. For our church and parish community, that we may selflessly take up one another's crosses and walk together in the footsteps of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who serve and advocate for the poor, the oppressed, 
and all in need, that we may hear in their cry for justice the word of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, the suffering, the recovering, and the dying, that they may find hope and healing in our compassionate care and support. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all men and women pursuing a vocation to the priesthood or consecrated life will have the discipline and perseverance to follow in the path of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Benedictine monks of St. Anselm Abbey, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For God's comfort and healing today for those who are sick, whose names are listed on our prayer line, and for our beloved dead, especially Eugene Gagnon, Evelyn LeFrancois, Helen Coughlin, and Mary Head, whose funeral services were celebrated this past week. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own intentions. For these intentions and for the repose of the soul of Bishop Joseph Gary, OSB, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray also for Brother Celestine, a monk of our community, who yesterday professed lifelong vows as a monk of St. Anselm Abbey, that he may be blessed with abundance of grace to live out what he has promised, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, you are the giver of all good gifts. Pour into our hearts your grace that we may accomplish your will in our lives. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join us in our preparation hymn number 646. Be Thou My Vision, 646. Four, six. with me. 
pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith.
therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Bishop Joseph, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Join in singing number 774, the Supper of the Lord, 774. Precious blood, he precious blood, here in bread and wine. May the Lord prepares the feast divine. Bread of love is broken now, cup of life is Precious blood, ye precious blood, here in bread and wine. Here the Lord prepares the feast divine. Bread of love is broken now, cup of life is poured. Share the supper of the Lord. I am the bread of him, giving life to you. You that eat this bread shall never die. Love is broken now. 
precious blood, ye precious blood, here in bread and wine. May the Lord prepares the feast divine. Bread of love is broken now, cup of light is poured. Come share the supper of the Lord. All praise to you, O Christ, present in this feast. In this bread we share in one life. Precious blood, precious blood, here in bread and wine. May the Lord prepares the feast divine. Bread of love is broken now, cup of life is poured. Share the supper of the Lord. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that, being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Please join in singing our recessional hymn, number 566. Holy God, we praise thy name, 566. Six. 